from the team this season instead of possibly going into the draft? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we had a lot of unfinished business. I feel like we had a lot of really good pieces. And I feel like one more year obviously would have helped my development too. I feel like I have a lot more left out there to put on the field and I feel like I can have a lot better year. So putting that together with our team having the potential to be really good this season, um, I feel like it made it kind of an easy decision. What kind of areas were you, do you want to grow in? I guess what are they specific? Oh, just when I'm in position, uh, making more plays on the ball. Um, which is something I feel comfortable doing, but just making it happen when it's time to make it happen, you know. Um, and then from that side, just filling up my frame, getting quicker, faster, and stronger, because when you take that next step, um, it's the real world, you know. It's the real NFL, so you want to be at your top, top physical shape possible when you take that step. Um, did you reach out to the advisory board, and what did they kind of tell you? Yeah, I got my grade back very late in the process. So before I even got my grade back, I had already made up uh, my decision to come back just because the timeline of it kind of – through everything for a loop. What grade did you get? Oh, they told me to come back to school. Did you come back? That's how yeah. it, sort of how it works. So, yeah, it's most of the time, yeah. This is, I'm forgetting a little bit of last year, but in terms of you not making that many plays on the ball, mm -hmm. um, teams obviously threw away from you a lot mm -hmm. until they realized Deuce was Deuce. Mm -hmm. um, and get some injuries. What, what do you think kind of prohibited you from making as many plays? last year as you put uh, Obviously, when you're dealing with injuries, you know, you don't feel 100% within yourself, 100% comfortable with the things that you do. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> just, I mean, it's just getting more comfortable just finding the ball, things like that. Um, I'm just excited for a new season to show, showcase what I can do. Um, anything you're doing different training-wise, like injury prevention-wise? I know, like, Seems like Iffy kind of went through maybe something yeah. similar. Yeah, I've, I've talked to Iffy, talked to Dre, all the guys. You know, they've had their share of injuries, and we've had similar things. So they've been giving me uh, some things they did that helped them progress past. And then me and the training staff, we've been, um, you know, we talk a lot. We got a good plan in place to prevent injuries down the line. Is, is it hamstring? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. It so was. is it just like, I, guess, I mean, like Iffy has, not his last year, but the two years mm -hmm. before that, both kind of got cut off because right. of that, and he was. I think he played all of his last season yeah. off the top mm -hmm. of my head. Yeah, he that might yeah. just be sheer variance, but anything you kind of took from what he did to, to apply to your training? Yeah, he gave me a lot of things to do when it comes to just hydrating, eating, stretching before, after, and just little things to do before a game that prepare your body to be able to go through a whole full game because I I like the expectation for me is to be able to play every snap on defense and special teams. Interesting. I'm imagining it's a lot easier thing to try and prevent than try and deal with in a game. Exactly. Yeah, and it's in a game – when you're dealing with that type of stuff, now your mind starts getting, um, I'm sorry, in a whole bunch of different places, you know what I'm saying? Sure, cornerback. Your right. hamstring yeah, gives it's, out, that's, it's that's six. It's yeah. important, yeah. Um, you trying to play every snap on special teams too? Yeah, sure? yeah I want to. That's the goal. I feel like if I can physically healthy, I feel like there's no reason I can't. Um, I can get in top shape to be able to do everything I want to do. So that's, that's one of the things I'm challenging myself to do. Nice. Um, Saint, you're talking about special teams. Does, does that relate at all to you know some of the guys you lost that were on the special teams unit last year that left this past year? No, see, mm -hmm. even like when I first got here, my first time playing was through special teams my freshman year. And even in high school, I've always been big on special teams. Even though I was, you know, obviously starting on defense, doing things on offense, I always like being on special teams just because, well, I always thought it was a way to just get more tackles, <laughs> yeah. more plays to make. <laughs> you were on the punt team last year, Yeah, right? I was on punt. And I plan to be on punt and punt return and hopefully take off as well. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's the goal. Yeah. Right, one more question for you. What would you say the mood so far in practice has been? Have you really, you know, put the disappointing end of last year behind you and really start fresh? Yeah, we're, we're past that. I mean, defense, or defense is taking steps in the right direction. We're learning from, uh, you know, not finishing the year as we want, mm -hmm. but remembering how much progression we made from the year before. Um, so obviously bringing a lot of the guys back, it's easy to forget because we know what type of talent we have in the room and then offensively. They've taken big strides with their new offensive coordinators and things like that, and they're doing really good things. So as a team, I think we're just we're not even thinking about last year because it's a whole group, whole new team.